Hello everyone. Welcome to the Power Pages Quick Tip series. I'm Ambe Singh today with our new co-speaker Shweta who is joining me today from Stuttgart, Germany and in episode 5 we are going to talk about how to add the AI powered chatbot to your Power Pages basically. And uh, you know, this creates the generative answer in just a few minutes. So please note this is in a preview feature and hence it not meant for the production and may have restricted functionalities and the bugs inside that one. What is the chatbot in the Power Pages if we talk about that? So, you know, the chatbot features in the Power Pages provide you with an easy way to configure a GPT powered AI uh, chatbots for your website. The bot enhances the interaction experience uh, for the website users by enabling them to ask the natural language NL questions and receive summarized responses with the relevant links. It also gives you an experience and allow the site users to get the necessary information available on the website, for example, through the FAQs or the knowledge articles, easily using the bot without need to search and locate the information manually. Now uh, we could ask like why the AI driven chatbot in the power pages, why we need this. So the answer is pretty simple. A chatbot with an AI can provide the quick and efficient customer support to your site visitors and the users, which can you know improve your site overall experience. Uh, power pages make it easy to add one. In just a minute, uh, you can create uh, you know an AI driven bot to your website that uses the generative answers which is a natural language to answer questions and the suggestion, uh, suggested solutions to issue in more conventional way. Now, uh, what all the prerequisites we need it uh, if we are talking about to enabling and to go further uh, deep into that one. So the first thing is the supported reasons are the United States, Europe, United Kingdom, Australia, and India only. It is not available in the remaining reasons right away. Also, it supports uh, it supports only the US English browser languages. So if you have a different browser languages, uh, it is um, this is not going to support you. The another important point is your tenant administration uh, administrators must turn on, you know, the setting that publish bot with AI features in the Power Platform Admin Center. And another setting is your tenant administrator also must enable enable data movement across reasons. So these two settings need to be there. Apart from that, if your environment is hosted in a region that required data movement across, you know, across regions to use the core pilots and the generative AI features. So you need to give a consent, uh, you know, through the terms of use um, on the move data across region checkbox in the Power Platform admin centers. And lastly, uh, only the tenant admins or the global admins have a required permission to turn on the bot. So if you don't have these privileges, unfortunately, then you can't uh, you can't enable that one. Now I would like to ask uh, Shweto to show how to enable and integrate the bot in your Power Pages. Can't wait anymore. Let's dive in a real action with Shweto. So over to you, Shweto. Thanks a lot, Ambesh. Hello, everyone. Um, so today I will be giving you a short demo about how you can enable um, Copilot or your Power Pages. It's a very, very interesting feature. And let me directly dive into the demo. Cool. So um, let me first start by giving you an introduction about how we can enable the bot. As Ambesh has already covered, what are the prerequisites for enabling the bot? Now I assume that I have all the desired permissions. I am the global admin and I have also enabled all the settings. Uh, to enable the bot, I have to come to then make.powerpages.microsoft.com, the Power Pages Design Studio. I have to select the environment which is hosting my Power Pages website. Here then I will be able to see the list of all the active websites that I have for my environment. And then I will select the one for which I need to enable my copilot. So I have to click on the three dots over here and then go into details. Um, so it takes some time to load initially. So let's just wait while this details page loads. Great. 
Um, so here uh, in setup, you will see a section for integrations, and then below that you can see chatbot. And here it is mentioned clearly that it's a preview feature. It is not available for your production environment as highlighted by Ambish as well. So let's go to this. And you can see, get your chatbot ready in a few steps, and really the steps are minimalistic here. Uh, the first toggle is to allow you to create and test the chatbot on your Power Pages website. And then the second toggle is to publish the chatbot. So when you turn on the second toggle, you're actually then making it available for your users who access the website. So you can enable the first toggle, test it out, see how it works and then only enable it for your users. So then you can enable the publish chatbot toggle. You also have the option to track your Copilot analytics. So when I click on this, you get directed to Copilot Studio and then the analytics section within this, which which gives you the details about the engagement with your bot. Um, let's just quickly wait till this loads. So we know what are the KPIs that we can track, for example, yeah, engagement rate, resolution rate, escalation rate, etc. Now, since this is the trial bot, I don't have uh, good numbers over here. So let me move on to the next part. The next part that's available is refining your data. So now as your Power Pages website is based upon your data verse, here you can actually define um, which which tables and which columns in those tables your bot can use to generate the answers. Just keep uh, keep in mind that um, it will only show you the tables which has columns which are of type multi line uh, fields. So it will only show you those tables which have the multi line fields. Otherwise, it won't show you these tables in the list. So for my chatbot, um, I have selected these tables, account, knowledge article, and case, but I can of course select it from the list that is available. Once I have identified my tables, I go to the next step, and here I can choose the columns available. So for example, I select uh, say case, and then here add page link. Now this is a link which will help us generate the citation URL for the bot when it actually generates an answer. And then I have the list of columns that I can choose. So if you see over here, I can only select these three columns, description, resolution, and steps to reproduce because case table only has three multi uh, line fields. So once I have selected um, the columns within this table, then I can go to the next step. It gives me the summary so that I can review my selection and then save it. So now I have completed my setup of the chatbot for my Power Pages and my design studio, and now I can go and test it out. So let's quickly do that. This is my uh, Power Pages website. And once I have saved all my configuration, you will directly see an option for a chatbot over here. Uh, so let's open this and uh, let's test it out. So basically, uh, this bot will actually refer to all the information that's available on your website. For example, you can see that I have some knowledge articles, I have some forums, also I have some cases um, that are there. So I can ask questions to this chatbot uh, related to the description field on these cases or uh, related to different knowledge base articles, and it does provide very good summary. Um, so let me try asking question about say return and exchange. So give me details about return and exchange process. Let's see. Let's go ahead with the typo and let's see if it's able to answer it. Yep, and it does. And it also gives you like a bullet point based summary and also a citation. 
So I can click on this and then actually read the entire article that's available on my website. Yeah. Um, let me try with one more question. For example, how to replace my coffee machine filter? And again, a bulletproof summary is available and a citation as well where I can go and read the article. So this bot can actually act as a single point of contact for any information that a user needs on your website. He does not have to go to manual, does not have to manually go to different pages and try to search for information. It acts as a single point of contact and gives you summarized answers. Also, one advantage of this um, Power Pages Copilot or Power Pages Chatbot is that it does take into consideration the security model that you have implemented for your Power Pages. So your bot will actually access only that data which the user can see based upon his web rules. If he is not an authenticated user, then your bot will only provide publicly available information to that particular user. So your security is taken into consideration when this bot is generating the answers. So that's also a really good uh, feature that's available. And um, in the end, uh, I would like to highlight a couple of known issues when what we experienced when we actually tried to use this bot was um, initially when we tried to enable this bot, we did not have all the prerequisites covered. Uh, we did not have the right permissions and when we actually tried to enable this bot, it created a stale bot in the background. So when the second time when we made sure all our prerequisites were covered and we had all the right permissions and then we tried to enable the bot, since there was already a stale bot created in the background, it was conflicting mm -hmm. the new bot creation. And that's why it was always giving an error insufficient permission, even though we had all the sufficient permissions. And then we, we spoke to Microsoft about it and then the steps that we had to follow was we had to go to Copilot Studio. We had to delete that stale bot which got created and only then we could set up the new bot when we had all the right privileges. So that is one thing. So please ensure when you are trying to enable this feature, please ensure that you have all the prerequisites covered and you have the right permissions. And the second uh, known issue that I would like to highlight is that the, the, the site's custom domain cannot be changed after you have added this chatbot. So if you want to change the domain of your website, then you need to turn off this bot and only uh, then you change your domain and then turn it on again. So that way you can change the custom domain. Um, yeah, I think with that um, I have covered most of the points that I wanted to share with you. I hope you like the demo and I hope that it helps you in your business cases and in in um, your uh, uh, work. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Shweta. It was fantastic and especially like uh, I'm 100% I'm sure you just saved a lot of the time for, uh, you know, of the power app makers or uh, of the developers. Especially the point like what you mentioned, um, uh, your conversation with Microsoft, like you, if you spin up the bot uh, without the privileges and if you try to spin up, then after having the privileges, then you will end up with uh, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, troubles. But um, yeah, uh, I think that is really a great point, like how to troubleshoot that. So really appreciate for that one and yeah, sharing your um, learnings with the, with the broader audience. So um, yeah, we are almost at the end of uh, our demo or the session or the topic for today just to add one more point uh, whenever you try to go and enable the bot from your integration perspective by default it is always on the disabled state so we have to enable it right now manually so right now in the demo you show uh, you saw that that is enabled because um, yeah shweta already prepared the demo earlier before coming to this um, uh, session and uh, that's why it is in the enable or the blue state but if you are going for the vanilla one it will always be a gray and you have to do it manually um that's right. then i think yeah then apart from that i think um, 
uh, I would I would go and make a closer for that one. So please stay tuned uh, to this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. Share the video with your friends and the colleagues who are having same skill sets or like you all probably they want to deep dive in the power pages. And uh, then um, I will be coming up with more interesting tips, knowledge sharings and the lesson learning around the power pages. Also, please always keep your eyes into the description description section of the video. So you always have up to date it with, you know, all the latest information, I would say. Till that, have a nice time and happy learning. So thank you again, Shweta, and thanks everyone to watching the video. Thank you. Thanks a lot. See you.